Well, I'm filming now. What are we getting ready to go do, Dad? We're going to Topeka. Why are we going to Topeka? I guess we're going to go look at a motor. Technically, it's an engine for all the people who get pissed off about that debate. The motor is electric. Okay. The engine is not electric. Okay, we're going to look at an engine. We're going to go look at a 241 Red Ram. There's a pretty cool story behind you and Red Ram engines, Dad. You want to tell that one? Oh, that's way back when, I remember in a junkyard, a big pile of engines getting ready to go to the scrapyard. And at the base of that pile, there was a Red Ram valve cover attached to an engine at the base of that pile. And I always thought I probably should have bought that way back then. I never did. And what are we doing now? We're going after a little Red Ram. All this simple. You may ask why we're going to buy it. Well, why not? It's pretty cheap. And uh, well, we're going to go look at it, see if it's something we want, and we'll just have some fun with it. I think it'll be cool. I bet you we can get it running. We probably can. Well, it's disassembled, so we're going to have to rebuild it, but. That's what we ain't got running yet. Yeah. There ain't been an engine that we've tried to rebuild that we haven't been successful with yet. We've always done a pretty good job in getting those things going. So, yeah. We're headed to Topeka. This will be fun. Well, unless we uh, think of something funny to say in the middle of <laughs> driving to Topeka, I'll see you guys when we get there. Bye-bye. <laughs> Dad, what would you say about our adventure? We saw a lot of cool stuff. Should have been filming. Should have been filming. I mean, some cool stuff. Yeah, this guy had some impressive... And I mean impressively cool stuff. He owns a business here with a laser cutter and all other sorts of stuff. Made his own custom parts and, and just absolutely sweet dude. Oh, all the sheep metal you could ever want. Oh yeah. But in the back, that's our Hemi. I think we're missing a spark plug cover, but we gotta find one. He says he's got it, so we're gonna be getting that. Nope. Anyways, should have been filming. In fact, I actually knew this guy. I was gonna buy a nail head parts from him before, but never did make it up here. And he had a really cool 55 Buick Gasser with a big block Chevy in it at our car show at the old Mare's River run a few years ago. I'm gonna post a picture of that. And I didn't even take any photos. I dropped the ball. I'm sorry, guys. You just got to believe me. This place was hot rod heaven. We had sprint cars, dirt track cars, uh, his record. His PA had a custom built Wrecker International cab with, it just looked like a Hot Wheel. Let's leave it at that. I wish you could take the image from my head and just bang, show no, it to you. No, his Wrecker. Uh, oh, not the Wrecker. Yeah, the Wrecker was something else entirely. Yeah, the International looked like a Hot Wheel. It had a big old whale tail on it. I mean, just beautiful stuff too. It wasn't just thrown together, cobbled together. Uh, it, it just absolutely insane stuff, cool stuff. Super cool guy. It had a blower on it. Yeah, it had one of those little mini blowers. That was cool. So are you happy I drug you out of the house, Dad? Well, I got a truckload of iron right now. I guess we need to go to the strap yard. <laughs> I got all this Dodge junk. I'll tell you what. I have uh, never actually seen a 241 Red Ram Hemi in person. And I would tell you what. That is the smallest engine I have ever really been around. Those pistons are cute as hell. So, I don't mean to say like this, but I have to say it like this. Typically women have smaller hands than men. I bet you my girlfriend's hands are about the size of a piston when they're clenched in a fist. And she has cute little fists. You're supposed to laugh with me, Dad. That so could I go either way. They don't know what your girlfriend looks like. That is true, she could look like you. <clears throat> Yeah. She could have big bear paws for hands. Well, they've seen Anna. She was on, uh, she's been in like two or three videos. But anyways, I'll see you guys when we get back to the house or when we stop somewhere, I'll take some video of the hammy so that way you guys can see what we bought. So, as I just said, literally five seconds ago, the camera's never rolling when you're saying the funniest stuff in the world. So, Dad, what were we just talking about doing? We were talking about making some pistons. 
Yeah, because this little Red Ram Hemi only has like seven or seven and a half to one compression, and that just ain't gonna fly for us, Scott people. So we're dreaming. And this is where it's getting kind of scary because we're dreaming. <laughs> so what, what was your idea, Dan? Well, first I thought we could cast them out of resin. Out of resin? <laughs> out of your plastic stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that one's going to work real. That might not. I feel cool to sell, but I don't know about using an engine. And then I thought we'd take, go get a bunch of fishing weights, melt them down, and just pour our own fish. Wait, those are aluminum, aren't they? Or those are lead. Those are lead. That would be a really heavy set of pistons. <laughs> okay, oh my maybe we better find something loop. Oh, the sun looks really cool. I can't get it, but... Don't need no stupid piston rings. Yeah, piston rings are for pussies. That's, yeah, just accessory. Yeah, I mean, when you got that piston moving up and down real fast, like, that's just extra weight. We don't need that. We just cast them a little big so they'll hone themselves in. Yeah, they'll hone themselves in. Might be a little bit harder to start for the first 20 starts or so. <laughs> What we're gonna do about and when we get I got it okay so I'm just thinking ahead of myself when we get porosity in our cast we got some of that really hard blue bondo stuff that icing stuff you bought at Napa yeah yeah we can stuff. fill that in make it smooth yep yep perfect and then with we could also build our dome out of that or uh, if like we don't get a big enough dome we can put more on there we can use some JB well maybe mix it all together. A little bit of epoxy, a little bit of Jamie Weld, a little bit of that icing stuff. Right, right, right. I think you're on to something. I think I'm on to something too. I think I'm on something. Yeah. <laughs> How much compression ratio is it? It's seven or seven and a half to one. It's gonna be something where you could probably start it by hand. <laughs> we need to at least be like a 13. That ought to be pretty easy. Well, so I'm thinking. would not have been pump gas red wood head. Especially on iron heads. Well with your aluminum heads you could have uh, aluminum heads you could maybe get by. Aluminum heads you're safe at about eleven and a half on pump gas, but better to run some a little bit hotter shit. Twelve to ones you probably would really like to. And plus let's be honest, those heads are made by Edelbrock. I'm counting them on the clock before they yeah. blow up. Everybody loves Edelbrock, I'm sorry. Or comp cams. I'm just not a fan of comp cams or Edelbrock. Only not a fan of Edelbrock because I'm just not a big fan of the carburetors. And I've had a set of heads not really work well for me by them anyways. And boys, when we got Dad's heads, if you watch back in the video series when we built his Hemi, we found some issues straight out of the box and we called Edelbrock and they basically gave us the big middle finger. Yeah, the holes were tapped all the way down. Yeah, on the intake holes. Yeah, they you couldn't even put an intake bolt all the way in. I mean, that's a pretty petty thing, but regardless. All brand new Yeah, the box says ready to go, bolts on and run. <laughs> By God, if you're going to charge thirteen hundred dollars a cylinder head, they better be ready to bolt on and go. And if you're going, especially if you put that little sticker on the box, they better be ready to rock and roll. This video has virtually just become you and I just sitting in the truck bullshitting. <laughs> Coming up on our old house. Our old house? Paul A. Road. Where are we? Right down this road. Where are we? Are we in Overbrook? Over, 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 over. Oh yeah, that's where I grew up. I grew up in Overbrook. Oh shit, we just stopped by and visit Jesse. Yeah, let's see if we can get this on video. Our old house we grew up in. Well, I grew up I see that. There's a silo. Is that where it is? Yeah. Yeah, there's a motor down. Yeah. There's a funky, scary house right there. Probably did that. Yeah, that house. I remember passing it like every day. Sure. 
and right down there, it's not that house right there, but yeah, I can see. Yeah, that used to be a trailer house. Right? Yeah. There used to be a house around here, right there. That house is sunk into the ground, and I just always thought that was the coolest thing as a kid. <laughs> I just, I always thought that was cool. Little town Overbrook, that's a little way in the town. You blink and you probably miss it. Nice little town. A lot of Mopar guys live here in Overbrook. Anyways, I'll see you guys when we get back to the house. So we can show you this Hemi. What do you know, Dad? I don't know I'm being illegal. Ain't supposed to be messing with this Freon. Well, don't uh, tell people that. Well, don't put it on the daggone computer. No. We're not showing it. There's no proof of anything. What do you think about that little baby Hemi we bought? No. Well, I stayed up until like 1 in the morning. Well, actually, I guess it was 3 in the morning cleaning the garage. So that we'd have enough room. Put the parts here. Bam. That's a little block. That's a little motor. Engine. Damn it, Dad. You're going to I'm going to have like a fan club of hating people because they don't like the word motor. Look at how tiny this engine is. That is ridiculous. Now, the camera don't show, but those pistons, they're pretty daggum small. Put your finger next to one of them pistons, Dad. Yeah, let's get the tape measure. Dad's got a tape measure now. I had to show them where we were. Three and a quarter. I can't read. Just shy of that. Almost three and a half. Yeah. That is a tiny, 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 tiny piss. A lot of good reading on the internet about that engine, though. Of course, we found, I found a bunch of missing parts. Texted the dude we bought the engine from. Let him know what's missing, so hopefully he's got it. If he ain't got it, then uh, start hunting for those parts. But it, it's definitely pretty... Uh, Sludgy inside. Whoever had this previously didn't really believe in uh, too many oil changes. That's the old oil, too. The old oil didn't clean up like the new oil does. That is true. But it's cool. Most of it's here. I mean, besides missing, like, water pump and starter, and, I mean, the rest of the oil filter housing. Because it takes a cartridge style like my 53 nail head. And I ran the numbers on the intake, and that's a 5354 intake. Yeah. Dual point distributor, it's all inside. Has that shaft play. Pretty tight, I very little, very little. Yeah, good enough. So I think yeah. Points are corroded. Well that's pretty normal. <laughs> Those points have probably never been changed. So nineteen fifty three, fifty four roughly, so how old is that, Dad? Like 60 years? Almost that's seven. Older than me. Wow. That's almost 70 years old. What are you talking about? Do the math. You know, 50 years would have been... It would have been 50 years old in 2000. And it's almost 20... It's 2018, so... It's almost a 70-year-old engine. Wow. That... That just screwed me up hardcore. One thing I was looking at, though, I didn't want to get greasy, but I got to show, is this timing chain. Well, Look at how huge that thing is. It don't make them like that anymore. No, we're going to need a new one, though. It's pretty wore out. It's definitely... There's the head bolt. Yeah, there's a bunch of bolts in there, and those rod caps, they're beady, beady, beady. I was looking at these head gaskets yesterday. These are like multi-layer head gaskets. They look chrome. These are cool. I think we clean these up and reuse these. Oh, God. It's getting hot. Yeah, it's already getting hot, but... I was, I was debating on going back to bed, but I want to come out here show everybody what we got for Hemi parts. It's kind of cool. We could take one of those 426 Hemi heads and compare it to the original Hemi. It's about the first of them. It's 241. Yeah. From the 50s, so 
compare what they pioneered with and what they finished off with that made the legendary engine. Got the little Ram, red Ram. Yep, we got the red Ram logo and Dodge down here. and Got all our spark plug tubes. We got a dent here in the valve cover we have to fix. Hmm. But that ain't no big deal. Just take a hammer and beat it out. Mm -hmm. Beat the hell out of it. Yeah, beat the hell out of it. Let me set this back on this now cover. But I ain't mad. I don't know if I want to tell everybody what we paid for it, but I think we did good. Mm. That truck every day goes by and honks. Mm. It ain't for us, it's for someone else. Mm. I don't know anybody driving that damn thing, but anyways, this is our well. We paid 500 bucks for all this. So, maybe stupid. Eh, most people ask like 1200 you know, $1,000 for these engines. I don't think they're really worth that. I think $500, you can buy one all day long. We got one now. You pretty satisfied, Dad? Yeah, I know the garage is a mess. It's not a mess now. There's no way we could have fit it in here. I put my bench seat over here and scoops, which we got to find a home for. Jezebel's old grill hung up, and we got a few things to put away, like my Hemi pistons that are in that box, and my four speed pedals. But yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this little series. It was fun filming with Dad on that little road trip, and when we go and pick up my actual 426 Hemi block, kind of what I plan on doing filming that little excursion because that's going to be um, a long drive for us eight hours one way to go get it so 16 hour round trip drive just to go get the block but it's worth it Did the same thing for that Guzzi. yep for that black mountain Guzzi drove all the way to ohio basically lake erie mm -hmm. hey, we went to lake erie with the bike in the back mm -hmm. the truck yeah hope you guys enjoyed and uh I can't wait to show you as we go through this engine and rebuild it. So, Dad, you want to tell everybody bye? Bye-bye. And before we end this video, I want to show you this. We also clean the garage. We got my back seat, Dad's back seat. Everything's all clean in here for the most part. There's all the rest of the Hemi stuff. Look at that. Gen 2, Gen 1. 66 to 70 54 that's how much change now this engine don't look very small once it's all together it's still pretty big but in comparison to the 426 it's tiny i think it's cool to have the two next to each other because this is like the first of the hemis and that's the last of them Besides Gen 3, which we won't really consider a true Hemi. But, yeah, we just mocked it all up because we wanted to look at it and see how it was going to look. Um, this is a really cool engine. I mean, even the two barrel is cool to me. But I want to do something different. I don't like the fabbed intakes really all that much. I wanted to keep it looking old school. So, probably going to do something different there. We're going to do the conversion for a small block Chevy water pump probably from Hot Heads. And then... I don't like Hothead's uh, crossover tube here because it's A in line and it just don't look right on this old engine. So I'm going to probably make something ourselves, make it look proper like it belongs on this engine. Because this engine just looks industrial and just beefy and cool. I love that engine. It's, there are some things in this world you buy that you just do not regret. And trust me, that's one of them. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you that. I think it's just cool, and I hope you share my uh, enthusiasm for this deal, because I'm going to do a whole video series on this, whether, I mean, I don't really care if you guys watch it, I just, it's for me, um, but I hope you guys, if you do watch it, you enjoy it. This is going to be like a budget engine rebuild, we're going to do everything as cheaply as possible, but also do it the right way. Because, <clears throat> I mean, it's a 7 to 1 compression engine, makes 140 horsepower, but I can't wait to you know get it fired up give me stuff like we're gonna make some zoomy headers for it they're gonna be just like those up swept dragster zoomies um 
I want to maybe make an intake or something. The guy I bought the engine from owns a big fab shop, so he'll make me some flanges probably and uh, do something different. I don't know yet, but we want to make it cool. We're going to paint it probably stock, which is silver and red, because I think it's just a really cool deal. And then figure how we're going to redo the red ram in here, which is just my favorite thing. I <clears throat> have never forgotten that story that dad's always told me about finding one of these valve covers. Well, one of these engines in a junkyard. And it's so cool to have one now. It's part of the reason why I wanted it so bad. Anyways, guys. Thank you for watching. I know this video had a lot of Dad and I just rambling. But, um, like I've said before, a lot of these videos are solely to preserve memories between my dad and I. And my family and me and friends and everybody. And I post them. Because I think you guys might enjoy them. And also preserve it on the internet. And... I appreciate all the support from you guys. We're almost at 1,300 subscribers, and that is a big number to me. It's not big in the scheme of YouTube, but it's a big number to me. I'm just a small town, normal dude. And for those of you who have spoken to me on the phone or on Facebook or on email, you can attest for that. I'm just the same dude I am on camera. I'm not some big shot. You know, I've been treated by some people who have contacted me like I'm some kind of special dude, but I'm not. I'm just a regular dude, and I want to get along with everybody, so I appreciate everybody who reaches out to me, and all the support you guys give to me, and um, of course, by the time you see this video, you will have seen uh, the video with my dad's charger, which we have t-shirts and things, so we don't have a bunch, but you guys know, so um, be sure to go check out that video, you can get all the information on shirts and how to get one, and um, Anyways, um, I just want to do a little ending to this video. I know it's not super cool or super exciting. We're not doing anything amazing, but um, just wanted to do a little ending. I'm sorry it's boring, but anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it. I, I'm just rambling. So I appreciate it, guys. I really do. I really appreciate every single one of you, every single comment, every single ounce of support, every single view. You guys are amazing. So... I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.